All right, guys, it's your fun Friday episode. Are you ready? Well, let's dig into it. So we're going to start off like we do every episode with some scripture. This week, we have been in the book of Isaiah. Okay, that's Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. And guys, this verse has been very impactful to me. Uh, I think this needs to be one of those it is written that we all have in our heart. So let's look at this verse. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So guys, I really spent a lot of time on that verse on our spiritual kickoff this week. Go back and check that out prayerfully. That serves you well because I really unpacked what that looks like so far as not fearing, understanding that this is a personal relationship that God wants with us. And if you take that personal relationship, he's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you. He's going to uphold you because he is the only righteous hand that exists, guys. So we need that. If you enjoy the spiritual kickoffs too, I want to encourage you. In our community, I do a spiritual kickoff every day. It's a little bit different format. Basically, I'm just reading scripture and I'm, I'm sharing with you guys what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me. So I pray you take that opportunity. Check that out. So again, if you like the spiritual kickoffs, go check that out. Check out the community because that may be an area that for your life every day, Monday through Friday, that you can get that that lift, that little boost that you need moving forward. Now, if you missed our Wednesday episode, the meat episode, we had Dr. Eric Rivera on. Wonderful conversation around his book, The Unexpected Jesus, how how he meets us, heals us, how he, the resurrected Christ, finds us, meets us, and heals us. That was, I really enjoyed talking through the process that Eric had of, of writing that book, the revelation that he got from it, and then how he, this is going to be able to apply to your lives. So, guys, if you're dealing with shame or doubt or you can't forgive yourself, right? You're just constantly beating yourself down. You have to understand, guys, that is all from Satan. And we need to understand where the source of strength can really ultimately come from. So Eric spends a lot of time unpacking that. He gave some really great testimonials and and and, and uh, references, look, guys, from Mary Magdalene to, to Downing Thomas, all the way to the resurrected Christ and what that means to be a follower of him. So highly encourage you to go check that out. This, if you missed that one, there's a lot of really good insights there that you don't want to just, just skip over. So go back, get the highlights for sure, and then apply them to your life. Now, for you know our fun, our fun Friday episodes, we're going to give you a, a three tips, a health, a wealth, and a self-tip. All right? So let's dig into the tips. I just enjoy doing these tips. You guys, the feedback's been good on those. Hopefully they, they encourage you. They give you some little things to, to, to try, to apply. None of these things are huge, groundbreaking, but it's the small blocking and tackling items that really help us be the leaders that he intends us to be. So first of all, the health tip. So if you tr- have trouble sleeping, I'm going to give you a tip here, okay? You know, I learned this from a, from a health coach. So this is backed by some science. Try lowering the temperature in your room by 10 degrees, okay? Because it, it's proven the best sleep happens when it's two, you have two factors. It's got to be cold and it needs to be dark. Okay, so if you lower that temperature, that's going to help your body transition from that to that state of rest that it needs. And it's going to help your sleep rhythms. Okay, particularly help them remain consistent throughout the night. Now, if you have a cold nature, cold nature wife like I do, I definitely don't want you to 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 uh, get to cause marital problems here. So you may need to get some extra blankets and things like that for her. My wife actually enjoys a weighted blanket year round. She uses that a lot. And then most thermostats out there, they are programmable. So you can make this change maybe an hour or so before you go to bed, you know, change that, you know, knock that, that temperature down, particularly during the winter times. And, and in the morning, if you don't want it to be quite so cold, you can bump that temperature back up, right? You know, 30 minutes, an hour before you get back up. So again, there's ways to do this. So it doesn't have to be <laughs> so doggone complicated, but try it out. See how it works. I really feel like guys, when, when it's a cooler room, I sleep better. I definitely sleep better. And it's proven in fact that sleep guys, we don't get enough sleep. We try to do run so hard. We pack our calendar so full. And this is, I'm, I'm a guilty party here too, guys. We need more sleep. You need to be knocking that seven to eight hours of sleep out. Now, if you're one of these guys that can run on four, just be careful. Cause I know you can run on four right now. But when that four, is that going to serve you in the long term? You need to give that body, that mind, that heart, all those, the, the, those critical functions of your body time to rest and recuperate. So try that. Try If you're having trouble sleeping, 
know, drop that temperature 10 degrees and see if that serves you. Now, for our wealth tip this week, I want you to think about investing outside of just money. Think about time, okay? Because if you want above average returns, you will have to devote some time to figure this stuff out, particularly the skill of investing. And this is a skill, guys, okay? So if you want to master guitar or Brazilian jiu-jitsu or cooking, right, it's going to take time to learn those different nuances, right? So, I mean, all those three things are things that I've tried in my life and, and at different times. And to get good at them, you got to spend some time practicing, okay? And this is not going to be the same for everyone, right? If you're that, if you're in that camp, if you're, maybe you're just a standard index mutual fund type of dude. That's fine. Just let that be your decision and be at peace with it. But if you want to have to level up those investments, you're going to have to take some time to evaluate what is best for you. You need to look at your risk tolerance. And you need to understand understand what your long term investing goals are. Again, one of the best resources we had that I will connect you with is the, is the Investing for Beginners podcast. One of actually one of our members inside our community is actually the founder of that. He writes a wonderful e letter every week, every not every week, every month out there. He's really big on helping those that want to take investments and understanding the stock market in particular make sound decisions. So if you want to check out, well, I'll put a link in the show notes for his podcast. Again, just search for Investing for Beginners. You'll see it. It's a wonderful podcast. Uh, they do a great job. And then check out his e-letter, too. I'll put a link in there as well. That's on our website, so you can check out his e-letter. It's the, 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 the Sather Research e-letter. Guys, I guarantee you this is, this is going to be a, a, a resource that serves you well, particularly for the investors. If you want to really start taking the next level, start peeling back some of these layers of the onion, Wow, these guys do it better than anybody out there. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Now, our self-tip. Now, this comes from our community, from my, my good buddy, Lonnie Manley. He's an original member of our community. Lonnie, I've been connected with him ever since we opened up the community. Just a wonderful man, a missionary. I love his heart. And he brought up this uh, idea at one of our events we had. And it was a really cool tip. It was so cool. I, I, I told him, I said, I got to share this one. So the tip was... Have an alphabet date night. And you heard me right, an alphabet date night, okay? So what is that? So what you do is you pick a letter to alphabet. And for that entire night, you look for items that you and your spouse can do that start with that letter, okay? So so let's say you pick A. So for that night, you may want to choose a restaurant that starts with A. So you can go to Applebee's. And then you're going to get some appetizers, right? Then afterwards, you may go to an arcade. Right. And so and then you may drive down certain roads that are named A, like Aaron Boulevard or Dale Road or whatever. Right. And then maybe uh, before, the class, before all that starts, maybe hit up an aerobics class and, you tri and then you f finish it off with a trip to the airport and you watch airplanes. You kind of get the idea. I know I kind of was spinning there a little bit, but you get the idea. So what you can do is you just fill up a little bowl with letters A through Z. Now, if you want to put X and Z and some of those crazier letters in there. By all means, go at it. That just may make it for more of an interesting date. But let her pick and then create your own adventure together. And this can be simple stuff. It's not something that you have to get on an airplane or anything like that to do. But he, they, they, him and his wife, they do this from time to time. It's something they really enjoy to, just to break up the monotony, have a little bit of fun, have a little bit of spontaneity to it. And it's very simple, very simple way. So have you go ahead and put on the calendar at a date night. But in front of date night, put alphabet date night and have a little bit of fun with that so lonnie thank you for that one brother it is so good to get these little tips particularly when they come from the, from from wonderful guys like you that are in the community day in day out serving and helping us grow so uh, there are your three tips guys your health tip hey drop that temperature by 10 degrees to see if, and see if that helps you sleep better your wealth tip you need to start thinking about investing more time particularly in areas like uh, the investing for beginners podcast and different resources there to help you grow your skill set around investing, and your self-tip. Let's go ahead and start that alphabet date night. So if you want to reply back to us, support at the line within us with how that date, alphabet date night went, I'd love to hear from you. If you got any pictures, that'd be cool to see as well. But guys, I think that's one that could be a lot of fun that you guys could lean into and actually, you know, make it. If your wife asks you, hey, how'd you come up with this? Take credit for it. I don't care. It's fine. Say, hey, just something I thought of. You know, if she doesn't believe you, hey, then throw the then give a little bit of plug to the line within us. But at the end of the day, it's all about having some fun with your wife. All right. So now let's get to our book of the week this week. So our fun Friday for the guys that were here on Wednesday, you know that this book, The Unexpected Jesus, 
How Resurrected Christ Finds Us, Meets Us, and Heals Us. This is the book of the week, guys, from Eric Rivera. Highly encourage you to get this book. It's a really good read. It's not that long a book, guys. You'll be able to, to knock this one out. But it's, it's, it's uh, let's see here. It's got a little study guide at the end. But 160-something pages. So, guys, again, lots of really good insights here. Eric did a phenomenal job with this book. I don't recommend books that I don't read. You guys know I spent a lot of time trying to prep to make sure that you guys get the good information up front. This is one that I really enjoyed. So I thought this is one that, that, you, that you should consider adding to your library. So if you want to check out the show notes, we'll have a link for you to get that as well. Now, for our dad jokes this week. Didn't have dad jokes from the community this week because I found these two online. I, they were so good. My wife gave me the eye roll. So I'm like, these are going to do right here. These are going to do. So dad joke number one, what do you call security guards working outside of outside Samsung shops? Guardians of the galaxy, of course. I mean, come on, guys. You should have known that. So number two, why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lactose. So there you go, guys. Number one, what do you call security guards working outside of Samsung shops? Guardians of the galaxy. Number two, why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lactose. There you go. So let us know which one lands best. Uh, I'm probably going with two this week. But hey, you let me know which one hits you the best this week. Remember, eye rolls count. And if it gets a little chuckle out of your kids, hey, even better. Okay. So the question this week that I want you to think about this week, guys, as we, as we went through this topic. Where do you find your source of strength? Again, if you're trying to find this anywhere, you know, a gym, a bottle, uh, pre-workout, right? A number in your bank account, your wife, the bedroom, your kids, whatever that is, whatever you're looking in the wrong places. Your source of strength ultimately is going to come from the Lord, guys. Lean in. Lean into the Lord Jesus. Let him fuel you. Let him show you. Let him guide you. And I pray that serves you well. So again, if you like the show, give us a rating, write a review. That makes all the difference in the world. Share this episode. Share other episodes with others. We have a Bible study. I want to remind you guys about that. That's been coming up a lot. Guys have been asked about that. We do. We still have the Bible study you can take. If you want some information on that, go to our website on the resources. You can check out the Bible study there. We have several churches and groups that are that are actually leaning in and trying to looking at the material and starting to implement it. And so I just pray that that was if it's, you think that would serve you and your men's group well. Hey, hit us up. Check it out. That may could be something that you could be really jump on and take advantage of. Maybe you're interested in some one on one coaching. Still do one on one coaching, guys. Still, that's something that we offer and try to, to try to help serve you well. Maybe you want me to come speak at your men's group. Hey, we're doing we're doing speaking this year. So that's up and running. Got the speeches ready, rocking and rolling. Got some events plugged up, lined in. Love to come and share with your group, guys. Love to come and share. So just, just again, support at thelinewithin.us. If you have opportunities you'd like to talk to us about, love to be able to come and connect with you guys and try to have a meaningful impact. If it needs to be virtual, we can do that. But if you want me to come there too, hey, we can do that as well. We, we're, we're out there. We want to get out and serve others and help you, help, you, help you and your men's groups grow, okay? That's what it's all about. And at the, at the end of the day, though, guys, the community. You haven't joined a community. You haven't checked out our community yet. You're missing opportunity. I'm in the community every day. The rest of our brothers are in there every day. The the community is growing each and every week. Guys are joining. We're, we're getting bigger and bigger. We're having better events. We're having better resources. We're having deeper discussions. Guys, this is what you need. You can't do this thing called life alone. I know you think you can. I thought I could too. But I realized one thing, the more and more I do this community stuff. <laughs> I was so blind before. And now that I'm in the community and I have these guys around me, I see the value. And if I'm having a bad day, if I'm stressed out, if I'm struggling with something, I know I can go to these guys. First of all, I'm going to get that encouragement. I'm going to get that lift. But I'm also going to get that truth and be able to test some things. So I have ideas. Hey, I test them against these guys. and They do that to me. And you know what? When we go back and forth, we're doing it all in the love of Christ. I pray you guys check out the community again, 30 days for free to see what it's like. Hey, jump in and just check out the, the courses and the resources if there's nothing else. And then if you don't like it, it's not serving you well, no harm, no foul. But I guarantee you in 30 days, if you jump in, if you come to one event a week and you just start in, and engaging with us daily, you will grow. But you have to actually get off the sidelines and make it happen. So again, the lionwithin.us, start your 30-day free trial. It's the quickest way 
to get plugged in and start making an impact. So guys, get after it this weekend. Have some fun. Come back next week for sure. Looking forward to serving you in the future. Thank you again for taking the time to listen to The Line Within Us. It means so much to us as we're out here doing this work, putting in the, the, the effort because we know that what we're doing matters. The feedback we're getting, it's making an impact. You guys are doing a great job. I know Satan is throwing the darts, but we're going to extinguish them together. So get after it. And don't forget to unleash the lion within. Let me ask you a real personal question. Who are your five closest friends? Are they pulling you closer to God or further away? Now, I know some of me guys said, man, I ain't got five friends. You know, okay, I get it, man. It's hard. It's hard to make those true connections. So what we did at The Line Within Us is we started a community. That community is where brotherhood happens. It's where guys come together. So guys, if, you, if you're struggling right now, if you feel a little bit isolated or alone, you need to hop in the community. You're going to find brothers there that are going to come alongside you that want to help you wherever you're at, wherever you're at, guys. Don't think you have to be some theologian to join. No, we're all just regular men who want to deepen our relationship with Jesus Christ to ultimately be the leader God intends us to be. That's what it's about. So hop over to the community. Guys, we have a lot of live events as well. So you can hop in. You can kind of just sit there and watch. You don't have to really jump in if that's not who you are right now. Hop in on a lion lunch. Maybe go to one of our Bible studies that we have going on. Maybe check out some of our courses that we have available. Or ask me anything events where we have previous guests come in and share their expertise. All this is available within the community. That is part of the membership. So if it sounds like there's something you want to start, guys, 30-day free trial. Just jump in. See if it serves you. And if it does, guys, we would love to have you in our community as we're growing, we're serving, we're helping others be the leader that God intends them to be. And I know we can help you be the leader God wants you to be as well. So again, hop over to the lionwithin.us. Click on join for that 30-day free trial so you can get started today. I look forward to seeing you inside the den. 